Good evening, WWE Universe, and welcome to WWE Slam. You join us just one night away from our Money in the Bank TV event as we look to find this year's Miss Money in the Bank. So far, Billy Kay, Brie Bella, Peyton Royce, Lana, Carmella, and Ember Moon have qualified for this year's match with only two spots remaining. Who will join this year's combatants just 24 hours shy of pay per view? As always, I'm The Revolution and I'm joined by my broadcast colleagues, Byron Saxon, Corbin Graves, and the ever so charming Michael Cole. You join us here in Orlando as we look to find the final two entries in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. Also later this evening, Naomi looks to once again bring home a victory for Team DAD as she takes on one half of the current Slam Tag Team Champions, Charlotte Flair. A night full of action here in WWE Sam, and it all starts right now. It would seem that interim general manager Vicky Guerrero has gone back on her earlier promise of Emma not having a chance at this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. As late tonight in our main event of the evening, Emma and Sonya Deville take on a mystery team with the winners gaining the last two spots in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. Will the once close friends somehow manage to work together? Stay tuned to WWE Slam to find out. However, up next, Ember Moon, Peyton Royce and Lana face off in a triple threat match.
following triple threat contest is a no disqualifications match. Making her way to the ring from Dallas, Texas, Ember Moon. Guys, this sold out arena is buzzing right now in anticipation of this triple threat match. Yeah, and I'm willing to bet the concession stands are on empty right now. Nobody wants to miss even a second of this match. Byron, many people are saying that these women are the top competitors in the division. Would you agree with that assessment? Well, the women's division certainly is. And her opponents, first, from Sydney, Australia, Peyton Royce. Here we go, guys, the triple threat match we've all been waiting for. And any time you get to see these superstars compete in the same ring at the same time is a real treat. Yeah, and for me, tonight will go a long way in determining exactly which woman is the most dominant in WWE. Same here, Michael. I'd say it's almost impossible to overstate the importance of this match, especially as it relates to where in the pecking order the winner will end up. from Moscow, Russia, Lanza. Ladies and gentlemen, the atmosphere inside this arena right now is absolutely unreal. This crowd cannot wait to get to this triple threat match. And they haven't sat down yet, Michael. I'm willing to bet they'll be on their feet the entire match. And I'd say these women definitely look ready to get this one started. So am I, Michael. I don't think I've ever seen these women give a poor performance. And I'm willing to bet tonight will be no different. We often discuss that strategy is so important in a triple threat match. To emerge victorious, a superstar must be able to seize opportunity. A quick finish. Can she do it? Very curious move to go for a pinfall at this point. Yeah, it's going to take more than that. That's a great example of teamwork right there. Now we have Ember Moon on the attack. Drop will jar her entire body. Kate Royce got her there. And she's driven to the mat hard. Hoping to end it early. She's got her in her sights. She better not rise to the bait. Direct hit. She's starting to feel it. She might want to think about taking a breather and letting the other two women go at it for a while. I don't know about you guys, but I did not expect to see her in so much trouble here tonight.
She's in control now following that slam. Right to the midsection. Fighting to get back to her feet here. She's just taking too long, Cole. She's got to move faster. No reverses it. Bringing it back between the ropes. Saw that one coming. Connects with a counter. Now that's the type of move that sends a message to an opponent. She's on the defensive now. She's got to be careful this doesn't turn into a two-on-one assault. Not surprising, Cole. When you're in the ring with two of the best women on the roster, you're going to take a few lumps. That's just the way it is. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Peyton Royce got her there. She's taking a while to get up here. I was just thinking the same thing, Michael. Caught in the face with a knee there. Thrown right into that turnbuckle. I can hear it from here. Going for it again. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. Oh, my. What impact. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got herself into right about now. Look at her go. Oh, Peyton just took her out with a leg lariat. She's got a chance to win it here. I'd say the end is near, fellas. Oh, man. I mean, that was so close. I thought it was over. And the match continues. Look at this. She's so dangerous. Oh, man, she's... she counters before it's too late. Look at the look in her eyes. She's in the zone now. There's the Hurricane Rana. She's having a hard time getting back to her feet, guys. Well, she's absorbed a lot of punishment so far tonight. She's got the shoulders down. That's not going to do it. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. She may be in a bad way here. She doesn't want to let this get out of control, guys. I just can't pick a winner at this point, guys. Any one of these women can take this thing. Now we have Ember Moon. This one was over once she locked it in. Here is your winner, Lanza. Looking dominant at times in the victory. Michael, your pride definitely takes a hit when you're forced to tap out. Well, it's going to be difficult to regroup after that amazing triple threat match. If that last match is anything to go by, the WWE Universe could be in for one hell of a surprising match tomorrow night at Money in the Bank. Who will be victorious in our second triple threat match of the evening? Stay tuned to WWE Slam to find out. However, up next, Naomi goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with one half of the Slam Women's Tag Team Champions, Charlotte Flair. The
following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Sasha Banks, representing the Bad Girl from Orlando, Florida, Naomi. Feel the glow. Here comes Naomi. Naomi's entrance is really amazing, Michael. It's almost impossible to be in a bad mood when she makes her way to the ring. a lineage unlike any other competitor on the roster today. Without a doubt, Charlotte has greatness flowing through her veins. Byron, what do you think about the shape these women appear to be in right now? They've clearly been prepping for this one. Oh, without a doubt, Michael. I don't know specifically what they're doing inside the gym, but it's definitely working. is ready to roll. Man, this card is just packed with so many great matches, and this one is definitely among the most anticipated, I'd say. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. And she hits the Hurricane Rana with amazing grace. Hard to predict this early in the match, but what do you think she needs to do to win here? What can you say that hasn't already been said about Charlotte? I mean, people are already saying she could be the greatest woman competitor of all time, and I would not argue that fact. Charlotte looking for the quick pin. Not much behind that pin attempt. Just not enough damage done yet, Cole. Naomi has one of the most thrilling, dare I say, illuminating entrances in sports entertainment. But that's only the beginning because when the bell rings, Naomi is truly amazing. And she's toying with her now. I don't think she should challenge her. <laughs> Naomi is starting to look a little uneasy. We've certainly seen her withstand worse in the past, though. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. She got her with a reversal. Naomi's athleticism brings the WWE Universe shooting to their feet in excitement as this superstar turns the ring into her own dance party, though Naomi's opponent is not happy that they were invited. Bright lights, high energy, and amazing moves sum up Naomi before she enters the ring. And when the matchup begins, no matter who the competition is, Naomi's gonna shine. Three. Oh, and it's a reversal. Looks like she wants to beat her inside the ring. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Incredible! Charlotte with a nice reversal. 
Quick pin attempt here. This is not where you want to be. There's breakers and then there's breakers. That was the ladder. She's got the shoulders down. Naomi going to work now. Well done. Naomi has her right where she wants her. She counters before it's too late. Charlotte with a nice reversal. Charlotte with a nice reversal. She's looking at it early. What should Naomi's mindset be at this point? I can tell you this is not how... Shoulders down, is it enough? I think we're about to see a high-risk move from the top rope. Struggling to get up right here. Whoa! Will this be enough? When she gets in attack mode, she's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Naomi going to work now. She's going for the cover. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. Naomi may get this, folks. Okay, now she's just showing off. She's got the shoulders down. Naomi going to work now. Guys, when you have as trained an eye as I do, you get to a point where you can see the finisher coming before it actually comes. And let me tip you off to something here. It's coming, and it's coming very soon. And she's knocked off her feet. I think that one caught her by surprise, Michael. She counters with a move of her own. Well, that rocked her all right. It could be over here. Charlotte with a nice reversal. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Will this be it? Charlotte is going up. She needs a fight. Incoming. She might have it. This should do it right there. What's the queen got in mind now, Byron? How about natural selection? Man, she knows how to make a comeback. Shoulders down, this could be it. If this superstar can just land the finisher here, this match is all but over. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got herself into right about now. Queen!
That's just Charlotte proving her dominance once again. And Charlotte is your winner. Shocking scenes just moments ago, and a sight I never thought I'd see here in WWE Slam as Sasha Banks and Naomi brutally attacked Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair at ringside. Thankfully, Charlotte and Becky will get a shot at redemption tomorrow night as they defend their tag team championships against Team BAD. I, for one, thought that Sasha would never stoop to the laws of the likes of Los Guerrero Familia. However, the show must go on, and up next, Raquel Diaz gives one very lucky superstar a shot at the Slam Women's Championship in the Raquel Diaz Open Invitational. <laughs> Who will answer the call? That match is up next. Making her way to the ring, accompanied by Awesome Call, and from El Paso, Texas, the WWE Women's Champion, Rachel Diaz. This is it. This is the match we've all been waiting for. And the electricity level in the arena right now is unlike anything I've ever felt. Byron, I think these women may be caught off guard a bit by this stellar crowd reaction they're receiving here. I don't know why, Michael. It seems like they get one of the biggest reactions each and every week. You'd think they'd be used to it by now.
Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. Well, to say she looks ready to go here might just be an understatement. Yeah, Cole, she's been looking forward to this one for a very long time. And it sounds like this crowd has been, too. Singles action is underway, and in this one, I wouldn't attempt to predict what's going to happen. I'd just be ready for anything. Sometimes that's all you can do. Well, you can't ask for much more than this, especially given how talented these women are. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. What are your thoughts on Ruby Riot? We know she can compete, but how is she going to actually win this thing? When it comes to one-on-one -on -one action, she's among the absolute best the roster has to offer. I don't think there are too many women in the back itching to get in the ring with her. And I could not agree more. As a superstar in the WWE today, there are plenty of opportunities. We'll just have to see if she can take advantage of them. She's looking to end it early. Referee barely had time to begin a count there. Very nice. Nice job by Ruby Riot in there. And she goes for the Boston Crab. Back and forth we go. And she breaks free. I don't know how she did it, but that was impressive. Dropped by a clothesline. She's calling for it. She should stay where she is. Looks like Diaz starting to slip a bit. But she knew this match wasn't going to be easy. Pump the brakes a bit, Cole. I know exactly what you're thinking, and I can tell you with all certainty, she still has plenty of gas left in the tank. Her talents inside the ring certainly are commendable, guys. The way she treats people, however, is a completely different story. Connects with a counter. Her knee finds the mark. It's not looking good for Ruby Riot here. But you certainly cannot counter out yet. Well, there's still plenty of match to go here, guys. Unless something crazy happens, I don't envision this being the end of the road for her. Not so fast. Punishing attack on the body. Oh, man. Oh, and she gets floored by that one. Yeah, there's no staying on your feet after something like that. One, two. Oh, man, she's got the shoulders down. When she gets in attack mode, look out. Here we go. She's got a chance to win it here. Hoping to end it here. One, two, oh, man. I mean, that was so close. I thought it was over. And the match continues. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Oh, and she has an answer for that one. 
She's looking at it. Now that's how you make a statement. The damage has been done. That'll knock you loopy, Cole. And this has got to be it. You know, she's got a tremendous amount of resilience, so I think she's got some something left here. Wow, that's pure power, guys. And she's trying to flip the script here. Easier said than done, Michael. Okay, now she's just showing off. She counters with a move of her own. The athleticism on display by the Divas is absolutely off the charts. She is on fire. From what we've seen and heard tonight, there must be serious injuries. Five. Six. Who knows what's going to happen? Seven. This match could go anywhere. Eight. Nine. Here we go. Back inside the ring. Oh, come on, not like this. This is not how I wanted to see this end. Things are really heating up here in WWE, Sam. After the shock announcement moments ago from Karma, it seems as though the heat has barely reached its boiling point as the two powerhouses clash this Sunday in a tables match. Will Karma once again squash Jack, or will Nia somehow overcome Karma after recent weeks? Tune in to Money in the Bank tomorrow evening to find out. However, up next, the three remaining combatants of this year's Money in the Bank ladder match go head to head as Billy Kay, Brie Bella, and Carmella face off in triple threat action. The following triple threat contest is a no disqualifications match. Making her way to the ring from Scottsdale, Arizona, Brie Bella. Brie Bella looks to be all business here tonight, guys. Agreed. In fact, she already appears to be in Brie mode, Michael. 
Determined looks on these faces of these women for sure. Wouldn't you agree, Byron? Absolutely, but that shouldn't come as any surprise, especially considering how intense the women's division is right now. signature look of arrogance on her face as she makes her way to the ring. I wonder what it must be like to be so in love with yourself. Byron, many people are saying that these women are the top competitors in the division. Would you agree with that assessment? Well, the women's division certainly is stacked right now, Michael, but yeah, these competitors definitely stand out when thinking about the top women in the industry. been a more highly anticipated triple threat match in recent memory. I can't recall it. Me neither, Michael. Given the three competitors involved here, I think it's safe to say that heading in, this is among the most eagerly anticipated triple threat matches in recent memory. And to build on that, when it comes to the women's division, I'd say it doesn't get much more exciting than this. You are right, Cole. This one should be great especially considering the incredible talent level of these women in the ring right now. Triple threat action underway now. Guys, I'm interested to see if any alliances get formed here tonight or if it truly will be one-on-one-on-one. -on -one -on -one. And it's worth noting that we are just a few miles from the WWE Performance Center, which means there are plenty of WWE hopefuls in the back studying this one. Carmella is making her presence known. Carmella is making her presence known. Let's talk about Brie Bella for a moment. Well, it's a triple threat match, so she's going to have to fend off multiple opponents. How can she get it done? Well, if you want a little dose of controlled chaos, you've come to the right place. This triple threat match will deliver in spades. Well, one strategy she might use is to lay back and let the other two women tire each other out. Perhaps they can end it with that schoolboy. She makes it look easy. Wiping his face on the mat with a face buster. A bone jarring maneuver. Brie Bella's on the attack now. Brie Bella's on the attack now. Beginning to look bad for her here. She's got to be careful this doesn't turn into a two-on-one assault. Yeah, but I wouldn't count her out yet. Any one of these three women can win this match. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply cannot let it take her out of her game plan. Carmella, man. Look at me, the quick cover is Brie Bella. And now Brie Bella is starting to take control. Carmella with a nice reversal. 
Paying attention to the back now. Carmella wants everyone to know that she's in charge. She is on a quick pin attempt here. And Carmella avoids the early pin. Just powered out. Oh, man. Brie Bella taking a page out of the Daniel Bryan playbook. Brie Bella scores with a tremendous move. It's heating up now. Look at her go. She shows signs of life. She's showing a lot more than that. She comes up big with the reversal. Sweat starting to form on Brie Bella's brow. She might want to think about taking a breather and letting the other two women go at it for a while. Not surprising, Cole. When you're in the ring with two of the best women on the roster, you're going to take a few lumps. That's just the way it is. <laughs> what a kick. There it is. Carmella's in a real bad. This might be it. No, I kicked out for Carmella. She's a warrior, guys. Oh, man, she's rolling now. Incredible! Carmella is on the attack. Carmella with a nice reversal. Oh, the reversal by Bree Bella. She got her with a reversal. Here she goes, back in the ring now. She's practically motionless right now, Corey. And she's probably wondering what she's got herself into right about now. She is on fire. She counters before it's too late. Oh, and it's a reversal. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here, too, Michael. And Bree does a bit of trash talking. Now Bree Bell is not looking good here. We've got to be careful this doesn't turn into a two-on-one assault. Yeah, but I wouldn't count her out yet. Any one of these three women can win this match. Bree Bell is on the attack now. You know, this is just one of those matches you want to sit back, relax, and just take it in. That might have hurt her ego more than anything else. How much more punishment needs to be dished out? Just finish it! How much longer could she go in this triple threat match? She's in tough shape here, guys, which is a little surprising considering she's been able to execute not one, but two finish the code of silence! Carmella can put her away here. One! How these superstars are even still in this match is beyond me, especially given how intense the match has been. Three's fangs are out, and they are sharp. Nicely done with the head scissors. Wow, Billy Kay is being controlled now. Corey, she's not getting up. Well, she better if she wants to win this match. Here we go. Take a look at this again. Yeah, that was nice. Shoulders down, this could be it. Two. What a win. Talk about seizing opportunity.
Here is your winner, Brie Bella. And she picks up the win. Few things are more rewarding than that feeling of keeping your opponent's shoulders down for the three count. Wow, just wow. I'm speechless. What an amazing match. Another solid match from this year's Money in the Bank competitors, and it seems like each and every woman is as hungry as ever for that Money in the Bank briefcase. Who will join Billy Kay, Peyton Royce, Lana, Carmella, Ember Moon, and Brie Bella in this year's match? It's time to find out as we switch our focus to the main event of the evening as Emma and Sonya Deville look to team up once again for their spot in this year's Money in the Bank ladder match. Will the once close friends somehow manage to pick up a victory? Or will a mysterious team that Vicky Guerrero has chosen somehow manage to capitalize on the recent breakup between the Los Guerrero familiar members? Our main event starts now. is scheduled for one fall. Introducing first, from Shemong, New Jersey, Sonia the Devil. Given the participants, this match might very well steal the show, guys. Yeah, and I think you could go so far as to say it has the makings of a match of the year candidate. And her partner, from Melbourne, Australia, Emma! And here comes Emma. Nicole, Emma looks like she will not be denied tonight. As she makes her way to the ring, Corey, there is very little Mickey James hasn't done over the course of her career. And the best thing about Mickey James is that she's not even close to done yet.
and her partner from San Jose, California, Bailey. Byron, you have to love Bailey's enthusiasm, am I right? You're absolutely right, Michael. It's hard not to smile when Bailey's around. And here we go, folks, as we get this tag team match started. When I think of tag teams that can make a major impact on today's WWE, I absolutely think of these two teams. Judging from this crowd response, guys, there's no more magical place to be in Orlando right now than right here for this match. Into the tie-up they go, but who's going to end up with the upper hand? In a tag team, everybody has a part to play. What does she need to do to contribute here? I know she's confident in her skills, but she has to remember she has a partner to tag in in case she runs into trouble. She's looking to end it early. Bailey with an easy kick out there. Yeah, this is way too early to be going for the win. the job. The human body can all absorb so much of that. She's got her in her sights. She better not rise to the bait. Well, that's any indication she's not taking any prisoners in this one. thrown around like that. Look at this power. She's just so dominant. a little. That's one for the highlight reel. Bailey's on the attack. We'll see if she can turn things around. Look at her here. 
She's just reveling the opportunity to make a mockery of her opponent. Bailey's on the attack. Not today. You can see the confidence just beaming from her right now. Oh no, a counter! She counters with a move of her own. Look out, a super kick right to the chin. Devastating! Pin broken up easily. Just power out. She's rolling now. What a clothesline. Hard landing there. Nothing to worry about. Just a little misstep on her part. One. She's starting to stagger a bit. Her and her partner aren't going to let this derail them, though. And you just get that feeling that being outside the ring so much here in this match will eventually come back to haunt her. How she responds to this is going to be very important moving forward. She simply cannot let it take her out of her game plan. Four. Five. Six. And she goes down hard. That'll leave a mark. Near a count out here, Corey. It would be a shame if this ends in a count out, Cole. Eight. Nine. And she makes her way back in. Just in the nick of time, too. Oh, spiking DDT. Is it enough, though? Did you see the impact on that? Wow. She got her with a reversal. Up and over with a suplex. Had that one well scouted. And there's the tag bailing into the ring. When she gets in attack mode, look out. She's countering nicely now. Yeah, a second ago, she was almost done. Counters that one. In off the tag. She's flipped the switch, and the light is on. This should do it right there. The tag team seen here in WWE is undergoing a... Oh, the Mick kick right on the money. Game. This could do it. She looks for it once again. Oh, spiking DDT. That has got to be it. Jeez, I felt that one over here. She needs to find a way to get to her feet. Time is of the essence here too, Michael. She is on fire. Whoa, look out. Been a rough night for her so far, Corey. It's going to get a lot rougher if she doesn't get up. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Well, better not think too long, though. So damaging. Look, Mickey James is on the attack now. Whoa, missed by a large margin there. Come on, how do you miss by that much? 
She wants to do this in the ring. This is not going to end well for Mickey James. Look at her go. In comes Bailey. These two work so well together. Big reversal for her there. Oh man, she's rolling now. Emma's enjoying herself, but she might want to dial it back. She comes up big with the reversal. I think we're at the point in this match where the finisher could be used at any moment here. She's got to find a way to get up here, guys. That won't be easy, Michael, given the beating she's taken so far. Okay, now she's just showing off. We may be looking at a power bomb here. That's exactly what it looks like to me, Cole. Tagged in. She's in a bad way here. Bottom line, she's got to get up. She can't win this match on her back. Five. Six. She's flirting with a count out here, guys. Come on, hurry up. Get back in there. Eight. Back in the ring again. to see it end like this. tonight. With wins like that, there's no way these two should even think about splitting up. Just my opinion. We've got an animated crowd here tonight as we usually do when we're in Orlando. Thanks for tuning in to WWE Slam. As always, I've been your host of Revolution and we hope you've enjoyed tonight's episode of WWE Slam. Be sure to leave a comment below, tweet us at Revolution or head on over to www.therevolution.co.uk to keep up with all things WWE Slam. Tune in next week to see what's in store for the Women of Slam because you never know who might turn up. Until next time.